This is Streamline News for Thursday, August 22nd, 2013, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. The California Golden Bears men's team got some very good news today when Tyler Messerschmidt was officially put back on the roster after being academically ineligible last spring and missing the NCAA championships. Messerschmidt took a couple of classes this summer and got his grade point average back to normal. Messerschmidt will play a key role in the Bears' quest to win the team championship again, with his times putting him in a good position to challenge for individual NCAA titles. It's a good day as well for Katika Hosu and Shane Tussup, as the two held a wedding ceremony on the small Chasselles Islands just off the coast of Africa today. The two met while swimmers at the University of Southern California, and in addition to now being her husband, Tussup works as Hasu's coach and agent. After a brief honeymoon, it's back to the pool for Hasu in defense of her World Cup title and maybe some more world record bonuses to help pay for wedding expenses. The six men who took part in pranks last year at a pre-Olympic training camp are set to receive more punishment in a matter of hours from the Australian Olympic Committee. The men who swam the 400 free relay for Australia at the London Olympics were fined and given deferred sentences by Swimming Australia. But the Australian Olympic Committee could do worse, including removing their stipends. While this is going on, the Australian Short Course Nationals is taking place in Sydney. The first day featured a Commonwealth record in the women's 1500 freestyle by Lara Crockard. The 18-year-old posted a 1545.89 to beat the record of 1558.61 set by Great Britain's Rebecca Crook in 2009. The first full day of swimming starts in a few hours and several top swimmers from the Long Course World Championships will be racing there, including multiple medalists Alicia Coots and 200 backstroke silver medalist Belinda Hocking. The Americans competing in next week's Junior World Championships are headed to Dubai today and on the plane with them is two-time Olympian Katie Hoff. Obviously, Hoff is too old to swim in the meet but will be attending as a mentor for the kids. Hoff knows what it's like to swim in a big international meet at a young age. She was 15 at the 2004 Olympics where she made the final of the 200 IM. The meet begins Monday, so the team will have a couple of days to acclimate to the hot and humid weather and the new time zone. That's going to do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching.